The New York Times has called this book one of the best sellers. Amazon has named it the best book of April 2016. And Entertainment Weekly has named it the top 10 books you should read by April. Last week, the Friends of the Burlington Public Library had a very special guest, Nathalia Holt, author of the best-selling book, Rise of the Rocket Girls, the woman who propelled us from missiles to the moon to Mars. I actually came across this subject completely by accident, and it happened in 2010 when my husband and I were expecting our first child. We were having a really difficult time coming up with baby names, and so my husband suggested the name Eleanor Francis. When I first heard the name, I was just not sure. It's an old-fashioned name, and so I googled it just to find out what other women who might share that name might be in history. And my search turned up a woman named Eleanor Francis Helene. And along with my search, there was this really lovely picture of her taken in the 1960s at NASA. And I was stunned by this picture. I had no idea that women worked at NASA at this time, much less a scientist. So I knew I had to learn more. Nathalia did not start out as an author. She started her career as a microbiologist. I've worked as a microbiologist for about a decade, and then I left a few years ago to write this book. I felt so passionate about telling the story, and I really felt that I had to do it full time if I was going to do a good job interviewing these women and researching the topic. So I feel fortunate the past few years that I've been able to really throw myself into this work. Assistant Director Michael Wick thought this was a great opportunity for the Bronze and community to meet a best-selling author. I think it's excellent. Uh, this is something that ties in uh, with a lot of what's going on in theaters right now uh, with hidden figures. Uh, you know, STEM, uh, science, technology, education, math is very big. Uh, and this is a great story, a uh, story of an un untold history of uh, women in NASA uh, at its very beginning. Uh, well, we've heard that she's been at some other libraries, and so we were hoping, uh, sometimes very difficult to get a New York Times bestseller uh, author to come out and speak in a library uh, because they've got a big name. Uh, we were lucky enough to uh, have Nathalia agree to come out and speak for us. Nathalia hopes her book will bring the NASA women recognition for all they have done. Well, I hope we can finally bring recognition to this really incredible group of women who worked at this place called the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, and shine a spotlight on the many years of work. These women had careers of 40, 50, even 60 years at NASA. They worked on just about every NASA mission that you can think of. So my hope is that we can recognize their accomplishments but also hopefully inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers. Nathalia would like to thank the friends of the Burlington Public Library and the library itself for having her present her book. From the Burlington Public Library, I'm Robert Paris for B News Weekly.